but still. Two weeks. Two weeks. Ah, uh, yeah. That's been a fortnight. We skipped last week because brain was fried. Yeah. For lack of a better term. I it actually don't know what day of the week it was until, like, I messaged everyone and said, sorry if it's a bit short notice, because I realised I haven't done anything. No. It is odd right. So, welcome everybody to this week's game of Tales and Fumbles of Fortunes. Technically now, we've been playing for 52 weeks. Yes! I On know. a technical, I'd say this has now been officially a year-long campaign. The longest the campaign has ever gone in my entire D&D history. Oh, that's so cool. Probably because we I keep think. on messing around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Remember that week it's when we went shopping for pop suit? <laughs> yes! <laughs> that's the that's, entire that's true, actually. Whoever's, bought, whoever's got the patience, because I've lost so much of it, go through all the episodes and just try and cut out all the fat and see how long it actually has been. <laughs> I was thinking about suspicion. thirty minutes. I was about to say I was thinking suspicion. It really boils down to like forty weeks of straight up solid narrative Game of Thrones <laughs> style stuff. <laughs> oh man! And if you take like out episodes. the monologues, that'll be probably about twenty-eight weeks. Take out the Bob ice cream adventures, that'll be. Do you mean to say I write a page and a half of monologuing? <gasps> How, dare, How you. dare you, sir? I write at least ten pages of monologuing. <laughs> Tell monologuing and then I me. sleep with someone and it never comes into action. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the DM's trying to keep this PG-13. <laughs> fuck, 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 wank, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, fuck, uh, technically now, I think we're at 12, eh? Still under that. Uh, I be... think. I need to double check my BBC, BBFC chart for now, that. Now, let's all just sit down. I shall regale <laughs> you about one adventure I had with breakfast and lunch. <laughs> oh, with, lunch with tea now. and biscuits. Tea and biscuits, <laughs> breakfast and lunch. All four. At the same time, I shall go into details. It started on a summer's evening. I remember the muff well. It was a fine day. The only problem was I disappointed four ladies all at the same time. <laughs> it was the fastest disappointment in recorded brothel history. <laughs> we now call it the gin method. <laughs> oh, oh, ouch! Ow! Uh, <laughs> and that, there, Tom, is how you stab someone with a hidden blade. <laughs> you said you would never tell anyone. <laughs> to tell someone eventually otherwise <coughs> the story would be written but anyway yeah. so for those of you who are just joining us welcome to the madness sit down relax get comfortable in your straight jacket and enjoy the show so last week well two week, weeks ago two weeks ago technically for the twitch stream and for the youtube vods but in terms for the actual content thing last week our party of adventurers had uh, decided to wrap up this uh, recent event involving the 10th Legion, which led to them being f uh, evidence of a trial and everything else. But you guys pop by to the Black Tower to see Umbreon and see what he was working on. To which he has left you a very nice array of artifacts, which you all now have in your journals. So whoever wants them, say who's got them and I'll keep a note. I know I've got the bow. Yep. I don't know. And, and we can do all the uh, <coughs> shenanigans to edit those in a bit. Shenanigans. Because these are very powerful artifacts. But uh, once you collected those up, you then went back into the capital city, took part in the trial. It then came under attack by assassins, who you dispatched, leaving a couple of alive for interrogation. 
To which Jin quite happily obliged by brutal, brutal methods. Absolutely brutal. I was being Sarah. <laughs> Didn't say you weren't. And from there, uh, on the flip side, Trim was asked to go see the Emperor himself, who revealed his true form to be the like an avatar of Io roaming about and just keeping an eye on things from the loftiest position possible. I take it me and Jin don't know, do we? No. Yeah, he didn't say. No, well, I mean, you... I had a spiritual experience, but I didn't say what kind. Mm. And from there, Trim went to <coughs> go see her dear papa to sort things out and what have you, but everything's fine at home. Yeah. Um... And your current objective is quite clear. Go and deal with Ebon Rath before something bad happens. Is the current yep. plan. Party ho. Let's so, get down to business. Indeed. Let us get down to some important business. And that business, if I get on the right screen here, is actually for characters and items. So... Uh, who is having what? I know Shinju is going to have a plus two short bow with some really nasty abilities. So I'll update all that for her. Who else is having what? Mm. Currently there's a Verdant Crown, Azulon's Wings, the Umber Carapace, and Aurelian's Gavel. <sighs> Uh, I'm thinking, as wisdom is my um, spell casting modifier, like stuff. I feel it would make sense for me to have the crown, based on what I've read. But only if everyone else is okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. Jinsukuna, you'll be alright with that? Yeah, I don't even really know what to take. <laughs> okay. It's either Warhammer or Armour. Because I don't think the shield would really go well with my whole stealthy, stealthy, stealth. What no, do you I, guys I had think? pegged the shield for a more Paladin esque character. Well, I mean, you can have the crown and then I can take the shield if you like. Well, I don't really know if any of those are suitable for my character. What you, do you think? You can, you can have um, Lilith's gauntlets. I know it's not on the list, but um, Lilith's gauntlets like, is... We decided that it's your best with them, didn't we? <coughs> yeah, I can always take Lilith's gauntlets then. No, I meant Trim's best oh. off with those, ability-wise. I think that was... Really? Yeah. What was it? I can't remember which one it was, whether it was June or Trim. But we decided that they wouldn't be any good with the other people, so it uh, was... Well, Lilith's gauntlets um, give the person wearing them a strength of 24. And um, when they're activated, everyone else within a 30 foot radius am i correct or 30 foot area uh 15 foot radius so 30 oh, foot diameter. i think i can't remember now okay uh no a 50 foot radius so yeah a huge area but it's centered on yeah you. so every so everyone within the 50, 50 15 or 50 like 50 or 15 50, Big. 50. okay so anyone within 50 foot radius has to make a wisdom saving throw or become frightened of you for one minute. And yeah. then they can make wisdom saving throws to be unafraid of you and be immune for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think... Yeah, they'd work with Jin then. Yeah. I jumping yeah, out of the me. shadows and scaring. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking, actually. Let me double check something because I don't think sneak attack works with strength. I think that's why we said it's best off trim. 
Let me double check these. Well, don't forget, you guys can have three. These all require attunement. You can have three attuned items on your character. All right. The wings would work with me because it's just the three AC and I yeah. can be squishy at times. Yeah. Well, it's cloth armor plus three AC. Sorry, I need to edit that. It's my bad. Uh... Ah. Well, here's some good news. Looking at sneak attack. Um, it doesn't say it has to be from dexterity. It just needs to be from finesse or a ranged weapon. Ah, so there you go. Lilith's gauntlet can be yours if you so wish. I said it's what, what's going to be best for the team. And I shall. Mm. Yep, and then any fin finesse weapon is just a choice of strength or dexterity for your attack rolls and damage. Still. Still. Um, so, Shinji's taking the bow. The crown is going to trim. Yeah. Just so everyone on the stream and on the VOD can see what the burden crown is. So, you go <coughs> on your head, your wisdom goes up to 24. You get two extra spells, either spell casting or two extra spell choices. I'm not fast which. Yes. You also know how to speak with animals, speak with plants, tongues, and comprehend languages at all times. Huzzah! And then as an action, you can cast Command, Suggestion, or Detect Thoughts. Um, is the, are the, like, Command, Suggestion, and Detect Thoughts once per day? No, no, Each? an action. An action. Okay, so I can use it. Yeah, the, the these items still need fine tuning, but... But uh, it's yeah. good to do a trial by fire. Yes. All right then. In that case, then, uh, if everyone don't mind, I can um all have the uh, crown. You can have the emerald and jade encrusted crown. Huzzah! Didn't you slightly weep at just like just the the oh, side? No. The side. The look of it, it's like, it's so pretty. It's so green. It's so green, it goes with my aesthetic. Uh -huh. And I, I also just realised, that is, is it like the necklace as well that Dorapol gave her? Oh. No, 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 the necklace is not involved. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'm just going to grab a notepad real quick because I want to scribble stuff down. No worries. And then the gauntlets are going to uh, Jin. So, Jin, there we go. are you alright updating your character sheet, Tom? Or would you like me to give you a hand? Oh, our uh, sheets have all been updated with pretty borders. Indeed. They now look more like the official character sheets, which is very nice. What am I doing to add it on? Right, so Lilith's Gauntlets, your strength stat goes to 24. <laughs> so where 18 is, we'll, I'll change that to a 24. Ah, you're typing at the same time as me. <laughs> right, okay. 24, 24, you now have a plus an insane amount. Um... Everyone should be rolling two anyway, so that's not a bother for advantage and disadvantage. And then things like your rapier, for example, should be updated to your strength. But I don't think it has plus seven, plus four, yes. No, it had. It had updated. So yeah, all the stuff you've put Finesse to is automatically updated. 
which is rather handy. And... The only thing that doesn't change would be your uh, hidden blade, because that is dexterity, because you need the deafness of hands to use it. Yeah. Mm, looking at it, wouldn't the Verdant Crown be better off with me? Um, I mean, I mean, I, can, I mean, if you want to take the crown, then I can take the uh, Umber Carapace. Because that's what I'm saying. I don't think anything else is really going to fit. Because, I mean, that would be the only other thing that I could have is the Umber Carapace. Um, the, I got my roof bald skit shield proficiency. By the way, this could be quite interesting. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's just have a look see. No, bards only get proficiency in light armor. Yeah, yeah that's so. what I thought. Cause we. Okay. In that case, then, isn't... yeah, that's okay. why I haven't been able to have any of like other armor and stuff. In that case, then, um, uh, yeah, in that case, um, you can take the crown and I can take the shield, <clears throat> I can take the carapace. Uh, to trim and chin. And so Trim has the carapace, Shinju has the crown and the bow. You also have oh my God. the sword. Yes. <laughs> Oh, this is good. I like so, yeah. this. Like I said, they all require attunement, which isn't going to be a problem between now and when you guys get into your next bit of major combat, but you can only have three attuned items on you at any one time. <sighs> so, Shinto and Trim currently only have one attunement slot left. Jin, on the other hand, has two. Two? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, for those at home, the Umber Carapace is the shield from the Black Dragon Umbreon. It's a plus two shield and grants the wearer the black dragon breath weapon as this is a nice little table. So, proficiency of two to three, you get the wormling breath weapon. Four to five is young. Six is the adult. And then it's once, twice, and three times per day. So, you guys are a proficiency of four. Hmm? Once, twice, and three times a lady. Yes. Well, in this case, a melted lady Oops. by acid. That's not what I wanted. <coughs> That's not what I wanted to press. No, you don't want to be divine favoring. You want to be breathing acid on people for eleven d eight points of damage. I know. So where's it's... the crown on my sheet? Oh, I need. You need to update your stats and everything else. I shall do that for you. Bear with me. Ah, one this is this character sheet so useful now. Because I can actually mark down what I can, like, what spells to prepare and, like, stuff yeah. like that. <clears throat> so, Wisdom for Shinju shoots up to 24. Uh, ba -da -ba -bam. And then, you already got Speak with Plants, so that's not a problem. Oh, this is where things get fun. Where can I add other things? Okay. Do, 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 How can do, I add in extra shiny things? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to take that. 
Yes, mate. Set it in. Okay. Yep, there it is. Speak with animals. Okay. Uh, so that one in. You've already got to speak with plants. We now need tongs. Oh. Which is also a very nice conversational spell. <laughs> and then we need comprehend languages. And I can't spell languages. Uh, L A. Uh, it's fine. It's just why um, I was typing quicker yeah. than uh, Chrome was catching up. Ah, uh, fair enough. So, so we tried to fill in gaps when there were no gaps. It was a little crazy. <laughs> so there you go. Speak with animals. Copy hand languages. Tongues. And speak with animals. It's right there. And then, got more to do because you can also do command suggestion and detect thoughts. Mm. Oh, another one. Oh, okay. Um. It is. Should have also added mass suggestion to that list, but never mind. You can quickly add it now. No, no, I want to see how the item fares first, normally. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't want to sit there and go, well, this is really powerful for... Okay, it's an artifact, so it would be powerful. But at the same time, I don't want it to be game-breaking. Oh, that is really cool now. Okay, that's handy. Oh. Um, so it turns out you can just drag and drop now. You don't need to say add or anything like that. These new sheets Ooh. are amazing. It is. That's so cool. Although, holy heck, you guys are rich. Yeah, boy. <clears throat> you need to put that in a bank. Well, I already I already have a slight plan if if I survive all of this. What Sinju will be going on to do? Would it be <laughs> buying out Daddy's half of the company and then becoming the sole owner of the Catone Transport Company? No. Is that a bit more fun? <laughs> oh, you're gonna open up your own Moulin Rouge. How did you guess? <gasps> Although, for, for the sake of comedy and everything else, would it be the Mulan Rogue? Because everyone keeps misspelling Rogue. Yeah. Oh my god, this is amazing. But no, that was basically my idea. Was if if I if if I survive all of this, was to was to expand the sauna into a brothel, <laughs> and become the richest <laughs> madam in the, in the whole of the <laughs> the whole of the empire. Yeah. God, that'd be really embarrassing for Trim's dad. His office, the town hall, <laughs> next door, the world's <laughs> most opulent brothel. At the bottom of the hill is the world's second most opulent brothel. <laughs> that one, the one at the bottom of the hill's for daytime, one at the top of the hill's for nighttime. Yay! You know, just uh, under the guise of a really fancy spa. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah. <laughs> I put my season pass in now for both. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to start writing some saucy novels at this rate. Sorry? I said we're gonna have to start writing some saucy novels at this rate. Oh, I'm sure Tom down. can write them already. Oh god. And these two have read my work. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I have. No, no, you haven't. But... Yeah. 
Yeah. Christy and um, Tashi has. Yeah, this is true. Why do I have extra pages on here? I don't need extra pages up here. No. Behind me. Okay, so you guys sort it out who's having what artifact wise? I think so. Yeah, so do you know what else you're having? The crown and oh. the bow. I got a choice. Jim uh, has the carapace and the sword. Currently left, that would be Aurelian's gavel, Azalon's wings. And that is pretty much it. I thought Tom was having the Azalon wings. Or I could either go big smashy smashy hammer or a bit more AC. But you said it's better cloth. AC though, because again it's cloth armor. With yeah, cloth whereas I've already got leather. Uh, what would be the difference in numbers? Let Mr. me consult the player's handbook. Mr. Bossman. And no, it doth say in the handbook of players. Chapter 4, page 146. I will chuck thy holy hand grenade of Antioch to thy <coughs> enemy, who shall may be then blown to bits. Who they may be thy... blown to tiny bits. <laughs> I will count to three. Three is the number as I count to. Four is one too many. <clears throat> Five, two more than what is needed. And for Tom's information, leather armor can only give you 11 plus your dexterity modifier to go to cloth, which technically isn't a thing, <coughs> uh, but it would be equivalent to padded. It would be 11 plus dexterity, but you would have disadvantage on your stealth checks. No. Although if you really wanted to up your AC, you can always fork out and go get some studded leather, which gives you 12 plus your dexterity modifier. And you don't suffer disadvantage. Oh, as long and as you guys off. have Ow. enough money to go, do you know what, let's go get this thing plus three and have a good time. I think we could go and upgrade some actual bits before we go, before we set off. We haven't done any shopping in a while. This is That's right, people. Room. It's another shopping episode. <laughs> <sighs> oh, we're done. Makeover, makeover. Makeover, makeover. Makeover. Why done? <laughs> I've doomed us all. Doomed. Well, in that case, it'd be obviously the gavel. is the only real option I could go for that isn't going to fuck up my AC and my stealth checks. Or you could be happy with what you've got and leave the gavel for possible returning player characters when they decide to return. Yeah, true. That is that. Like, it's like everyone was saying about having to take two, so that's what I thought I had to take two, but I, I, I'm happy just to keep with gloves. I also think that you have a hidden blade which breaks your rogue ability. I know. Let's just stick with my hidden uh, hidden blade, my gauntlets of blah, blah, blah. Gauntlets of uber strength. Yeah, well, that's not normally happens when I hit the enemy so much. So all they all they hear is blah 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 blah, the blood splattering against. God. <laughs> so, uh, plus so I just thought now of um, Jin like. Combat rolling in, flicking out the hidden blade, stabbing someone in the back, but it's such a forceful stab. It's not so much the blade doing the damage, it's more like you move a kidney completely out of place. That's the real reason why they died. It wasn't you backstabbing them and doing the critical damage. It's just kidneys now six inches further forward than what it should be. Jesus Christ. Have you seen his strength? Yes, because he doesn't flex too hard. If he flexes too hard, his shirt's gonna pop off. He uses <laughs> antlers in all of his decorations. <clears throat> so, with a plus two, 
kind of carapacy shieldy thing. Does this increase my AC by four? Yep. Holy shit, I'm a freaking tank. You're a Next tank week, with um, a black breath I'm weapon good. and you can create a wall of force to protect you as a reaction. I am Reinhardt that can breathe acid. <laughs> Next week on CSI, oh, there you go. <laughs> this man clearly died of a stab wound. Sure, it's on the back of his neck. Actually, you'll find that it's because his kidneys are on that wall over there. <laughs> Look, see, the stab wound is in the back of his neck. Yes, however, his spine isn't. His spine is embedded in the gentleman behind, who in turn has spat out his false teeth into the gentleman in front. Holy shit. Dara, wow. Daryl, look no. at Trim's AC. Daryl, look at Trim's AC. Have I created dare, a dare, monster? Dare. Well, you have and you haven't. You've created something awesome. Please press that AC button. Please press that AC button. We want to know. We want to know. Now, I'm just looking at how much acid damage I can do. Like, with Only the proficiency. Two times a day. Yeah, I know, but still. It's. Jesus, mother of God. Hey, that does cost you an action as well. I think I put it down. Yeah, I. Yeah, as a reaction. Uh -oh. No, that's not a reaction. Um. No, the reaction's the shield, the wall of force. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 21. It's commendable. It's a commendable AC. Yes. Anyways. Uh, so, do you guys want to attend to any other business whilst you're in the city? Yes. <laughs> uh, and what business be that as I go and open the door? Because I am melting... I have absolute. I have. I had a train of. As I said before, I had a train of thought and it's crashed into a spectacular ball of fire. Well, that's amazing. It crashed into yeah. a ball of fire, which means there's a massive explosion <laughs> on your train of thought. Yes. But please do go on. That's what I mean. It's such a big explosion that I can't remember what I wanted to do. I probably could buy more potions and stuff. <laughs> uh, if everyone else wants to do stuff, I can wait Like while I try and remember what the heck is going on. Uh, I can't well, really think. Would be my upgrade of my armour. Which, <coughs> off the top of my head, is 3,024? I think. What? 3,024 what? Gold pieces for your studded leather. Uh, how much has everyone got? Because I can't remember if I added on. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at the picture. Hang oh. on. Right, question. Those art pieces that are in the um, bag of holding, like, are they meant to still be in there? Or I think we you sell sold them? them. Okay, because I want to, like, exchange them for however many worth of diamonds I can get out of this. You can quite happily buy diamonds. Again, you guys have got, like, several hundred platinum pieces. Okay. Oh yeah, platinum pieces. Um, so How much a platinum which, piece to gold? Uh, <laughs> each platinum I believe is a hundred gold. I think. Let me double check. I think it's ten because I had this question before um, in my other session, and I think it's ten gold for every platinum <laughs> piece. The one page you wanted to be on, and it's not on there. Right, calculator, let me do math. So that's eight times. Math. Three. We are Amer We are British. Yes, yeah, sorry, a platinum is worth ten gold. So I'm I'm going to I'm still short for this upgrade my armor. If 
I mean, does anyone need any art pieces to sell before I trade them in for diamonds? I don't think so. I don't think I have anything. Jin Sakuna, did you need any extra monies for, like, your upgrade of the armour? Well, I'm short a grand at the moment. Okay, um, because uh, the art pieces, if sold, will come to... Nine hundred and five GP. And I could sub you the other hundred. Yeah, I mean, I can too, like... I don't mind if you wanted to. I mean, I can use some of the, like, the monies um, to get more diamonds. And stuff. It's down to you all. Just take the art pieces. Oh, well, I'll take the art pieces for the current trade <laughs> price. Um, well, I said, uh, yeah, if you want me to take it, I will. Well, yeah. if you need to upgrade your armor, then you can. Uh, like it I might be better for me, but again, yeah, it's like, I don't want to make this decision. No, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Take the art pieces, sell it for monies, then put it towards your armor. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm making the decision okay. for you. Do it. Uh, and so yeah, it's a made the decision for me. So, so that's <laughs> nine hundred and fifty gold piece worth of art pieces. No, 905, sorry. 905, right, I'm still short 59. 59? Uh, you should have enough in silver. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have got enough in silver. Yes. Poor armor spirit. Hang on a second, you still... They just pull out a massive box for the silver pieces and go, and that's the rest. So why why is the conversion for silver pieces? It's 10 silver to a gold. Right, so... Works on scales of 10. Six. Divided by 10, that's 828. Which I want to say so. is a constant scale? Plus 16, 36. Get 6 four. that's 905. So I can give you 169 gold pieces back in change, Trim. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, go Poor ahead. Poor Armorsmith is really confused at this whole thing. <coughs> okay, 40 I, the, platinum, literally I've spent a thousand <laughs> gold and two thousand silver, and then I'm gonna give a hundred back in change. Look, like, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. How much did you say it was back in change? Hundred sixty-nine. Gold pieces or silver? Uh, the gold. Gold, okay. gold. Oh, wait, I put everything so all together. Gold. My silver pieces, my gold pieces, my platinum pieces, and what the worth of the artwork is. Uh, 905. Nine. So I have 3169 all together from that. Yes. 3000 for the armor. 169 spare. Okay. Well, like if you really want to um, give the change back, you can do. I oh, really I could keep it. it because I I literally have nout net. Yeah, you keep you now. keep the change. You keep the change. Okay. Um, Let right. me do the editing. Right, so yeah. that's gonna be one editing of the sheet. One sixty-nine. That's gonna be one hundred. Out. And my armor. What? What did you say is now clusters? Uh, it's studded leather plus three. All right, let's go to information stud leather. And uh, hang on a second, I can do a thing. And then you just said drag and drop it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Just mm. drag and drop it, and it will just automatically go, Hey, you now have standard leather plus three. There you go. And ticked off leather armor plus one. So now I have studded leather plus three. Right. And my armor class is now 21. So the rogue and the cleric are now tanky. Yes. Yeah. We are now tanks. This um, makes a lot of sense. You two are the front line. Yeah, I was about to say, we have lost our door still, so yeah. Yeah. I am now effectively front line. Bob, can you come with us to fight a, dra a dragon? <laughs> I can give you some leather armor. Plus Bob, one. But Bob's got a side of the whole thing around the coast. <laughs> got you to sail around start. around the Isle of Wight until you get dizzy. <laughs> 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 you just see a giant ship full of kobolds like go around. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody got the reference. I did. It's yeah. the black I did. How go uh, around the world. I may we ran out of water. We're up to our drinking the piss stage. <laughs> oh, the captain's been drinking his own piss since we left Portsmouth. <laughs> and uh, how this many electron pieces? Yeah, how many electron pieces are there to gold? Uh, two. I think it's the odd hiccup in the scale. Oh God. Cause More maths. Because the, the whole thing with Electrum is it's meant to like represent older currency. Okay. Excuse me. That's fine. That was uh, quite an impressive belt. <laughs> okay, so that's adding... So I'm going to add 320 gold pieces worth of diamonds into my stuff and taking away like uh 1000 silver pieces yeah it's two electrum to a gold well well one 1200 silver pieces 200 gold pieces and then i'm just debating on and then so two so that'll be 200 if I wanted to. Uh, yeah, and then I'll add another 100 electron pieces to the diamonds, making it a total of 1720, if I got my math right. Maths, right? I'm not American, gosh darn it. Uh, sounds right. Yay! All right then. Okay. So, do you guys spend your time purchasing, sorting out finances, growing all your things up, attuning <laughs> your new items yeah. to which now you hear the various, very faint Sorry. voices in the back of your head. Of their respective, of your respective dragons now, you know, not coercing your ideas, just questioning your judgment on some things. <laughs> They're so, judging so us. So shouldn't, yeah. <coughs> so yeah, I, like so that probably. So Shinji it... occasionally has this whole idea in her head of she should go hunting, and Viridis is like, you should make everyone bow to you. <laughs> After all, you're now a queen. You're wearing a crown. Make them bow. <laughs> Just who's got a, who's going to have a Raelian's gavel? No one is. Oh, okay. Matt can stay at home. Okay. Dorothy can keep it as a kind of. Uh... Oh, Dorothy took the like... wings and flew. <laughs> First opportunity is like sweet, done off. Wee. Uh, he, sho he shocked a lot of the city by suddenly like taking two steps and a jump and it just kept running on the air. <laughs> oh, Dorothy. You never change. Yeah. Um, I would also like to, if everyone else is alright with it, like to read um, this giant tome of intelligence and stuff. Because I remember we picked up this tome at the secret uh, parish temple -y oh, thing. Yeah, you'd get that as well whilst you're dilly-dallying about it. Because you'd have all the time in the world to do this sort of thing. Yes. So, what do I get after... 
So, do we all read from this book? Uh, hang on, let me double check. Or does it have to be one person? Because it, it changes from edition to edition. Okay. Uh, where is it? Where is it? <coughs> uh, what was it again? It was a tome of... You, you described it as having like really complicated oh, oh. equations and stuff. It's like reading algebra. It's in common, but otherwise... Um, uh, but otherwise, um, it's a huge-ass book. And I'd also like to learn Draconic while I'm at it. That's the yeah. other thing I want you to know. learn. Yeah. yeah, you spend the time and now you can actually now speak Draconic. You can add that to your languages. Yes! Yeah, Durafil's been giving me lessons. Yay! Now I'm not so much of an embarrassment <laughs> when trying to speak Draconic. See, now I can use tongues and comprehend languages, so... <laughs> well, there we go. You can um, be our master. I can't find what I called the book. It was a tome of something, that much I remember. Yes, to which there are several tomes. Is it, is it um, Tome of Understanding? Might be. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Possibly. We'll say it's that for now until I can figure out otherwise. Your wisdom has increased by two. Okay. Cool. And I'm just going to double check something real quick because I remember you saying something about incre incre increasing in tier levels. But yeah, I we could go with... Um, the tome of understanding. So yeah, it is now increased to twenty. Yeah, boy. I've now got a plus five modifier. Oh dear, I have made monsters of men. What have I done? Hey. You've done amazing. It's beautiful. <coughs> anyway, as you guys do all your various tasks and whatnot, eventually you, I'll assume, go to the docks, hop aboard your ship. Yes. Ask yep. Bob and his merry band of kobold pirates to escort you. And I pay Bob 60 gold pieces like he asked. There you go, Bob. Bob thanks. Um, Bob thanks you, and he's not wearing his usual pirating attire. He's now wearing like the posh suit he got way back when. Wow! With, like the whole Barbosa-style pirate hat. So it's got a massively wide, <coughs> paper-thin brim, just a small skull cap and a feather sticking out of it. <coughs> Yes. Looking very smug with himself, I suspect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking very smug. Yeah. Oh yeah. Smug as <laughs> all heck. He even does the whole. Um... Oh, I've forgotten the character's name from Next Generation, where he's always got like his leg on something higher, so he's got his knee up. Uh, Riker. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I knew it was. Hang on, it... Picard always calls him his number one. But that's not it. Uh, brain won't work. But he's always going for that. He even requests oh, bucket. Oh, the tracking. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Even those old things occasionally as you're sailing around, like he requests some of the deckhands to bring him an empty bucket. To which yes. I instantly know that when he means that, he means bring the empty bucket, turn it upside down so he can put his foot on it and strike a pose. Uh, where do you guys want to sail to on the southern continent? Do you want to go to the city of New Io and go from there? Or would you like to sail elsewhere? You can go around pretty much anywhere on the western coastline. Do we have a picture of the southern isle? 
I do indeed have a map of, well, not of the whole continent, but where the no, bio but is. No, it would help if we could see it in relation to... Uh, yeah. Did I actually upload? I don't think I actually uploaded the full world map yet. Yeah. So, so for the sake of convenience and everything else, we'll have you guys go to New Io. Cool. <coughs> uh, so, if I bring you all over to the Untitled page, which Ooh. is our blank basic combat page, and then I will oh. bring in somewhere in here. Somewhere. <coughs> All right, so as he expands the borders <laughs> and hates roll 20 for messing about with resolution size and everything else, you guys are getting covered. Yes, that's fine. So the northern part is the city itself. Sits on the edge of the river and the coastline and everything else has a port. You guys can enter through without any trouble whatsoever. Bob has done all the paperwork and everything else. <coughs> um, a few of the locals do say if you're going to go south or anywhere outside of the city, be careful. It's a bit crazy and a bit treacherous. But the city itself is in actually really good shape for a new colony. It's got stone buildings. It has all the basic amenities. If you really wanted to, you could holiday here and have no trouble whatsoever. <coughs> it's so cool. It's, it's pretty nice. It'd be like going on holiday to Greece if Greece wasn't in such financial straits. But um, the, doc, the Harbour Master does give you this map, basically. Awesome. Uh, so what do you guys want to do from here? Uh, well, from what I remember from my visions and divinations sessions and stuff, the, sit, the place that we're looking for is surrounded by this sort of dark energy and it was I want to say it was by a river but I don't think it was uh, you remember a lot of water like the city being bisected by water oh yes the city was bisected by water mm -hmm. that much I remember and I think it was on some mountains Indeed. probably not oh yeah so, if we ask the locals where a place like that exists, then that's uh, where... Go ahead, is. go ahead and roll for me an investigation check. Okay. Sure thing. Do we guess it's down here? Investigation. And I probably... Oh, 15. That's decent. I'll ask you around. Um... They do say, like, well, we know of an old city to the south of here, and, like, um, Shinju's pointed out on the map, there is, like, a ruins marked that far south. It's about in the right kind of place, the right kind of terrain, but, of course, maps tend to differ from real life because the map needs to cover a lot of detail in a small space. But it's in the right direction. Well, thank you very much. You're quite welcome, madam. I don't know yeah. why I went with this voice, but we'll go with it. It seems to be working. Yes, indeed. Alright. I mean, do you guys want to stay here, like, like, to prepare anything else, or do we just want to go there right away. I mean, I would say let's just start heading there because it's going to take us a little while to get there anyway. Indeed. Well, in that, yep, in that case, let me summon Reginald. Uh, okay. Yeah. He hasn't you come cast... out for all of them. Yeah. And you cast uh... your fine steed 
and out pops a celestial mastiff. Ah, Lady Trim, tis nice to see you again. Reginald is at your service. Ah, oh, Reginald, it's been too long. And I pat him on the head and give him a belly scratch. <coughs> Don't stop. Keep going. Lower. <laughs> Lower. Right there. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, good boy. And I think... I am a good boy. I am a celestial being. I can't be anything else but a good boy. Um... I wonder if I can find any way that can give you some armour. Like... There really isn't a whole lot you can do in that department. I'm literally a one-shot deal. Yeah. Okay. Well, then that's it. You summon well, me, that... I take you somewhere, I either unsummon or at my will, or I get destroyed. Okay. And then pop back on the celestial plate. <laughs> Alright then. In that case, um, we'll just leave it at that. There we go. Wonderful. And from there we shall take our first break of the evening. <laughs> a little earlier than planned, but I have something planned for later. Oh. We're all gonna die! We're all gonna <laughs> die! <laughs> no, shut up! <laughs> You're not all gonna die. <coughs> At least not yet. So, for those of you watching on the YouTubes, thank you for watching this short little first half. Be sure to like, favourite, subscribe, click the bell icon, all the usual YouTube <coughs> spiel you've heard on a million other channels before. And we shall see you next time. For those of you watching on Twitch, hold still for a few minutes. We shall be right back after we've had ourselves a little break. We've recharged glasses and emotions. Until then, shall see you shortly. <laughs>